Today, I'm going to use six teams, starting with the fastest and moving all the way over to the strongest. There's potential we discard over 50 cards today, so this should be fun. Are you tired of coming against teams that are so much better than yours? My eyes are bleached. If so, visit U7 Buy to buy your foot 23 coin. They are cheap, fast, and reliable. Make sure you use my code Danny to get yourself 5% off. All right, I think it's only fair we start with pace. In goal, we have the first ever keeper to have 99 pace on any FIFA. And it's Milinkovic Savic, not the one we all know and love. He kind of looks like Bateson, but he's six foot eight and he's got 99 speed. EA have lost their marbles, but he's in the team. By the way, I believe he's like Milinkovic Savic, is like dad. The right back should come to no surprise. I can't wait to say this one, my friends. The fastest right back in the game. You're seeing, you're seeing a bunch of great right backs. Carlos Alberto, Cafu. Kyle Walker's got 95 pace. Surely no one's got more than 95 pace. I can see your name. Shut your mouth. Jeremy Frimpong. Oh! 96 pace, baby! Uh, but I'm on a new account and I didn't do his SBC. But it's not the end of the world because he's also gone in form with 95 pace. So he's technically the joint most quick player. I'm very bad at explaining things. Basically, just imagine this is his World Cup phenom. All right. My two centre backs are actually quite bad, but they're very fast. First one is Jeremiah St. Juiced, who's got 93 pace for a centre back. And actually gets a bit of chemistry. Oh, sorry. How have I forgotten? Sorry, boys. Give me a sec. Jeremy Fringpong followed me on Instagram. <laughs> I suppose while I'm plugging, don't follow me on Instagram, but subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Anyway, the left centre-back again is very mid. He's actually a silver card and it's even worse. He's a full-back. It gets worse. He's American. No! And he's also called Cannon. I'm not going to go there. All right. It's, bit, it's a bit too early in the video to do any of them jokes. But we will buy a Reggie Cannon, convert him to a centre-back. And there are my two centre-backs. The left-back, very, very easy. Actually, between two cards, it's between Teo Hernandez with 96 pace and Alfonso Davies with 96 pace. I'm going to go with Davies just because when I think of fast left backs, I think we all think of Alfonso. Welcome to the team, mate. Right, that's the defense done. Surely I'm not conceding with that. We'll see. Midfield time. Oh, you know what? I'm starting strong. I'm going straight away with the fastest card in the game, Saeed al Rain, who's obviously got 99 pace. Can't lie, boys. Never watched this guy in real life. Apparently, he was good. So, yeah, he's in the team. He's at Cam with 99 pace. The two centre mids are interesting. That's a, that's a good word to use. First up is Butchanan. Who? Oh! Now, he does have an objective card, but I don't really want to do that, to be fair. So, I'm buying his silver. He's still got 92 pace for a centre mid. I'm out of position changes. Cool. Thank you. Yeah, he's got 92 pace. He can play centre mid. It's beautiful. Now, this position change is even weirder. I believe I've showed you a lot before this. Fair play if you guys remember. Yoni Gonzalez, who is a striker. Not for long, though. Oi, not for long. This, come on, mate. Please, people are trying to what? Not for long. Yeah. Hey. Right, not for long, boys. Striker all the way to centre mid. Uh, and obviously, he's got 93 pace. Right, now is where we get some coins. The team's looking quite mid. So I'm going to go straight to the striker. Uh, he swaz team the tournament with 99 pace. Can't play striker for some reason. So... I'm going to have to, unfortunately, use his inform. Ah, oh, so upset, lads. It's not like I'm saving my coins. I mean, lads, the inform still got 98 pace. If you don't know, that is the exact same as his purple card. So there's no point wasting more money, right? And PayPal's in the team. And then surrounding him are going to be two very fast wingers. Both have got 98 pace. We're starting with Simon. Hi again. And then right wing. I'll be honest, boys. I, I kind of forgot this guy played football. Uh, but it's Daniel James who received a... <laughs> sorry. Uh, he received a World Cup Phenom card. Anything's possible in, in life, lads. So there we go then, boys. We're playing right wing. And that is the fastest team in FIFA 23. I'll be honest, lads. This is the cheapest team we're going to use today. Like, the, the shooting team is mental. But for now, let's use this team. If we lose, one of these lot is getting quick sold. <laughs> A grape slash cherry is literally like a mini football. You couldn't you, you can play foot you couldn't play football with an apple for more than two goes. Oosh! Don't mind me, boys. Ride me! Yeah! Damn it! Do the thing. Why is he not doing the Ugh. You know what I mean? Sweaty goes, yeah. Oh baby! To eat this guy's dog water today. Oh. You're a you're a scumbag twat. No, no. Oh Simon! Easy. Nah. Hi again. It's me. Penrith! 
Yoni G. Well, that was nice and easy, boys. No discard for me. Thanks. Let's move on to shooting. Right, let's go, boys. The goalie is going to be a little bit interesting. I, 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 I promise, like, and I'm going to go with Randolph because he's got 99 kicking. Obviously, there's not really a shooting stat for keepers, but kicking is what you do when you shoot the butt. Cheers, Jeff. The right back is interesting, you know. It's not a lot of shooting. Only 83 shooting is the highest on the right back. And it's a man that actually plays for Tottenham. Never heard of them. No. <laughs> So we will get him in a team, Ivan Perisic. As you can see, he plays cam, but he also plays right back. We move, boys. He will be in the team at right back. Two centre backs is actually where we get a little bit fun, you know. First one, if you guys remember, he is low key a channel legend, Ronald Koeman. P A C. What? What is it? Is it eighty or above? Above. I'm going to go with his prime card. A centre-back with 88 shooting is absolutely ridiculous. Ah, look. Free kick accuracy, 97. 98 shot power, 94 long shot. We're going to be sending the power shot today with Ronald Koeman. Joining him at left centre-back now. You might be thinking, oh, it's going to be rude Hullet, isn't it? I can't lie, boys. I'm bored of using him. We've used him centre-back so many times, but we will use Hullet at centre-back later on in another team. I want to use some new cards out, all right? So behind him with 83 shooting is Woot. Weghorst. I've never heard. That's not even a real name. Moving on to the left-back. A little bit of bad news, boys. All right, I apologise. The actual higher shooting left-back is no longer available. He was an SBC called OC22, uh, who, had, who could play left back and he's 84 shooting. It's not to worry. It's not that deep because behind him is a, sh because behind him, the next person is 83 shooting. So, you know, it's not that deep and we know him more. All right, because he is me, Roberto Carlos in our left back. Obviously that comes to no surprise. You've seen my shooting. Plays the ball across. Right, moving on to the midfield. I'm going to start with the cam because I feel like it's the most obvious one. Uh, recently released a few weeks ago now, but Tahith Chong, who is literally discard price. He's going for 12,000 coins. He could, he, he could play left mid, but I think it, we'd get a lot more fun out of him if he was in a cam. This guy's literally got 99 shooting. Like, I, what, I don't know. Around him, there are two icons. Uh, I'm, I'm going to say it straight up, lads. The, the best shooting icon and in the midfield is Zinedine Zidane. Last time I bought Zidane, something bad happened. I bought it, boys. I bought, I bought Zidane for 7.7 .7 mil. Do you know how much I sold him for? D do you know how much I sold him for? Do you, I, I, this is a, I'm, I'm looking you dead in your soul. Do you know how much I sold Zidane for? I sold him, lads, for like 4 mil. All right? If you know, you know. So I'm not going to buy Zidane today. Just in case, I've still got PTSD. But I will buy Frank Lampard, who I actually, I don't, honestly, I don't like. There's a clip that lives rent-free in my mind. So they call it three-point lane rather than white heart lane. And they just go there. <laughs> so it does not fill me with joy for using him. But I've just read the other, the, the, the other centre mid is also a Chelsea legend. What's going on? It's Balak. Make sure I pronounce that correctly. He is in the team as well with 90 shooting. I mean, mate. This guy used to be so good in like FIFA 19 and now I've never come against him this year. But both of the centre mids have got 90 shooting and the three attackers have much more than 90 shooting. Uh, let me let me start with the lowest all right, and work our way up. The lowest shooting is Stoichkov with 93 uh, who, who could play right wing to so whack him there. Left wing is a man I've used quite a lot and I really, really like. I had him first owner on the, uh, on the main account, but you know, that's fine. That's water under the bridge. We will buy him again for... The left wing. Uh, obviously, he's a striker. But if you don't know, lads, he can play left wing. So there we go. Very nice. Now, for the striker. Same situation, lads, with Sedan. I do not want to buy Pele. And it's not because I can't afford him. All right, I can. I'm going to go with the second best in line, Frank Buscas, who I think will be a little bit more fun to use. We've already used Pele. He is overpowered. All right? We're not even overpowered. He's just powered. Uh, but yeah, Ferenc Puskas will be our main striker up front. I did tell you, boys, the shooting team was a madness. Surely I don't lose with it. But if I do, I will discard someone in the team. Let's play a game. I mean, lads, in terms of Division 8, that's good. All right? That, that's incredible. Bob, give it up, Bob. Give it up, Bob. Come on, Chong, if you miss this, you're a fraud. Oh, Puskas, you little dancer. You dancer. So I, I had to get my dinner from Tesco today. And one of the bloody Tesco staff, he went, oh, hello, mate. Are you Danny Aarons? I went, yeah. And he went, oh, I don't actually watch you, but I've just seen you in Sidemen Among Us. <laughs> oh, sure. This shooting team's quite decent. Lads, I'll do you a deal. If, the, if this guy even scores one goal, I'll do a discard. This is never happening. 
Never happening in a million. Man, you just knew that was gonna happen. I will shuffle my team up and we've got a will. So that's the t whatever position it lands on, lads. I have to put into a as busy. Whatever position it lands on. <laughs> oh! 500,000 coin. Diego Forlan. Thanks very much. Cheers, mate. Right. Let's move on to passing. Um, in goal, I've actually got a good reason. I've got a good logical goalie here. I'm not going to go with the highest kicker. Edison. Because, realistically, he's a midfielder in disguise. Realistically. So Edison's going to be the goalie. Right back. I, lads, this, this was the most expensive card of the team. Do you know why? I had to play three games of FIFA. Oh! It is, let's go. That's class. Better be class. Boys, as I said earlier, we are going to get Hullet in at centre-back. Of course you need me. Bang. As you see, boys, he can play alternate position centre-back. So we're going to do his SBC in a bit. Joining him is going to be a uh, another centre-mid, right? Not another one? Right, there you go, boys. Left-back is going to be very boring. So I'm going to get it straight out of the way. It's Guiario. Sorry. Okay. Midfield. All three midfielders are icons, lads. Right, that's the midfield done. Now the attack is where it gets a little bit peculiar. Striker, boys. I'm not going to cheap out on the striker, I promise. Lionel Messi. Not, not the road to the final. Uh, the team of the tournament where he's holding the World Cup trophy. Because he's the greatest footballer of all time. Jesus. Right. Bang. Lionel Messi. Oi, this left wing is going to confuse every single one of you. Um, the best passer is, is Ronaldinho. But, no. Uh, I'm, using, I'm using the second best one. I've not got a coins. I'm so sorry. I'm using Michael Laudrop. Uh, please, please, I'm sorry. Last but not least, the only 99 passer on FIFA 23, Daniele Bede. Boom! There we go, boys. That is the passing team completed. Hopefully, I, I don't lose because this is a very, very expensive team. Let's go. Wait. This ain't Div 8. What? What's, wait, why am I coming against a good team when i got an expensive team? It's going to go in. It's going to go in. I'm going to have to discard someone. Ah! I am try-harding in Division 7. That does not count, boys. It does not count for a discard. Lucky. Now show me a bad team. How is Nick Pope still not upgraded? Lads, why am I coming against competent people now? Ooh. Edison! Two seconds later. Edison, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do some bad things. 100% going to go in. I lost 3-0. I lost 3-0 and I've got to do a quick sell. Okay, I think I'm happy with that, boys. And if I'm happy, you're happy. The will, whatever it lands on, has to go into a gold upgrade. We want centre mid, boys. Oh, mate. Oh, just go. Oh. How much? 400k Perlo. I like it. Perlo, mate. Cheers, fella. Goodbye. Let's move on to dribbling. Just had to clear my throat real quick, boys. Right, I'm going attack first. Uh, we're going to start with the most extremely obvious ever. Uh, the greatest footballer of all time is obviously very good at dribbling. Rose, I'm going with this one, lads, all right? Respectfully. Bang. 97 dribbling. I know that the, you know, the most dribbled strike is probably Pele, uh, but I can't afford him. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use Buffal. Buffal, he's got 95 dribble, lads. 95 dribbling. And the left wing, pretend this is a team of the tournament in Mbappe. I've not got the money. All right, but imagine that's a team of the tournament one. Right, he's blue, lads, isn't it? All right. Now we get serious. You will not know my right sentiment, I promise you. Absolutely zero people knew that. Boom. Let me, let me look at his in-games. Is his in-games 99 everything? Pretty much, yeah. Look at that. He's going to fill. Uh. And the left of him, two choices. Kareem Benzema, Verts. Now, we're going to go with the obvious one. We're going to go with the obvious. <clears throat> cool. And then finally, boys, the cam. This guy, lads, 96 dribbling. 96 dribbling. Oh, I feel he's going to feel so mesmerizable. Is that even a word? I mean, lads, the defense is where it gets a little bit dodgy. Right back. A very interesting one, lads. A very peculiar right back. Diogo Delot. Uh, yeah, I don't know who he's shagging because there's no way he's that good in real life. 
one of the worst right backs in the league, should be replaced by Jeremy Fringpong. But fine. We'll move on to the left back, boys, who's got 90 dribble. Bosh. The centre backs are good, you know. I'm going to start with a, a peculiar one. Blanc. Base Blanc, who is a cam, plays centre back with 84 dribbling, which is just about as good as we're going to get. Unless... You consider prime Roberto Carlos to play one game for my team at centre-back. Right, now that's goalie. Yashin's extinct, so we've got to go with... Cassia! There you go, boys. That is the best dribbling team. And you know by now, if we lose, discard, boom, go. It's a full Real Madrid team. Uh, apart from Musa, who's just recently signed, I suppose. All right. Hello. Mbappé! 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 Oh, you've been sent twice! You got sent twice! That's too easy! Oh, that's a ping. Oh, sweat it. Oh, that! He's bloody missed it! Bosh! Ooh! Hey, easy game there, lads. <laughs> Defending time. Boom! There we go, boys. That is the best defending team. Let's play a game of it. Surely I don't concede. My nan's in goal, boys. Oh, what is that? Is that like a 5-4-1? What are you doing? <laughs> a cube has 12 edges and Danny has zero bit. There's no need for it, man. I'm trying. Sometimes it may be good. Got to so! <laughs> 69 shooting. <laughs> yeah, boy. Let's move on to physical, the last one. Okay. All right, let's finish strong. <laughs> you make me sick. I'm doing physical, boys. I'm doing physical. Right, goalie is, uh, again, let's goalies are very confusing. I'm going to go with Thomas Holy, uh, which you might recognize from the Chris MD video. He's basically the tallest keeper. He's six foot nine. He's the tallest keeper. He looks like Incredible Hulk. Uh, and I'm going to go with him because there's not really any like physical stats for a goalie. But fortunately, there are physical stats for every single other player in the team, starting with the right back, who will be Denzel Dumfries. We had a very, very good tournament. We'll whack him in a team at right back. Let you know what, lads? I'm going to switch it up. I'm doing the left back. I'm living life on the edge, mate. Ooh, you're hard. Our left back will be Seco Fafana, who has an oop card. I don't think it's Seco Fafana, is it? Oh, my life, he's extinct. Why are you ex Sorry, what have I missed? He's extinct. No! Oh, lads, improvisation inbound. All right, this was supposed to be for Fana, but he's extinct. But not to worry, a Manuel Petit CDM Prime card can also play left back. And he was the same physical at 89. Not the end of the world. The two centre-backs are going to be another two icons, starting with Nemanja Vidic, who is from Serbia. Yep, yeah, well done, Danny. Good job, mate. Who's got 91 physical. And joining him will be Carlos Puyol, who has got 90. That's the boring bit out of the way, boys. The midfield is incredible. <laughs> and moving on to the attack, boys. This is... I, I'm going to start the most surprising one. The left wing is Darwin Nunes. From the big to the big red. Uh, for some reason, he's got 91 physical. I don't know if I've just missed something or what, but I didn't know he was that physical, to be honest with you. Someone I did know was physical is Alex Alexander Mitrovic, who is the strongest striker on the game with 93 physical. Obviously, it used to be Akin Fenwa, but he's no longer with us. And the third and final attacker is going to be Musa Marega, who can play right wing with 89 physical. So that is the final team we're going to use today. There's a lot on the line. I don't want to be quick selling De Bruyne. So let's play a game for the last time today. Let's play football. Aliso. Oh, wait, this guy's actually got a competent team. That wasn't supposed to happen, lad. Darwin, Darwin Nunez! Darwin, Darwin Nunez. He came from Benfica to the big red. Hello. Yes, Sammy! Yeah! Ooh. That's, that is, to be fair, good goal. Oh, yes! Yeah. Yes! Go on, the boy! Let me talk! Seven. No discards for me! Easy game, by the way, boys. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Thank you for watching today's video. Leave a like and subscribe. Peace. I wanna keep this